friends, hello fellow vintage lovers. I'm doing something different today. I decided to do an unboxing. I got this bag of jewelry at an estate sale a while back and I hadn't had time to really go through it. So I decided, you know what? I'm gonna turn this into a haul slash sale. Um, as I open the bag, I'm gonna give you guys prices on each piece and you can put in the comments if you're interested in the item. Um, I will go ahead and assign numbers as well. Then I have some items that I had pulled for our jewelry sale yesterday that I didn't get to. So I'm going to have some of those available as well. And I figured, you know, this would be kind of fun. Something a little bit different. Uh, I hope everyone is having a wonderful Saturday. I do want to mention we do have our Shopaholic sale tomorrow at 12 Eastern, 11 Central, and 9 a.m. Pacific. Okay, guys. So... Unfortunately, I cannot find um, my phone uh, stand, so I'm just going to open the bag and, and show you each piece. It won't be quite live as I do it, but as soon as I pull an item, I'm going to show it to you and give you a price on it. Okay, guys, I hope you like this. First time doing something like this. Okay, guys, sorry about that. I dropped my phone for a second. The first thing I am seeing is this giant furl necklace. Um, God, these are... This is a big one. This is very long. Gosh, this is long. Okay, let's see what we have here. I think I saw a tag on it. Oh, there's a tag. This is a very long necklace, that is for sure. And we have Chico's. Okay, guys, I find Chico's a lot. Um, it must be popular with Dallas women because I seem to find it everywhere I go. Um, Chico's does make really nice uh, costume jewelry. Sometimes they do use actual um, semi-precious stones. Um, but as you can see, this is just a big pearl, furl necklace. Um, it is strung on the string there, as you can see. Okay, let me measure this. This is going to be a big one for sure. I'm going to guess. My guess is 36 inches. Um, it looks like it's in really good shape. You know, none of the, the pearls seem to be loose. Okay. I think I'm going to have to put the phone down for a second while I measure this. So I will be right back with the measurement for you guys. Okay, guys. So math was not my strong suit <laughs> in, in school, even in college. Um, but I guessed right. So this is about 36 inches. Um, so it's obviously very long. There's the tag again. Of course, you could, um, you know, make this shorter if you wanted to double it up, maybe even triple it up. Um, it's amazing. I'm going to offer this for $8 if anybody's interested. This will be $8, number one, for this really nice, long Chico's pearl, pearl as we call it, necklace. Okay, guys, the next thing I'm trying to reach is this bangle. I'm just kind of trying to make room here. Um, and unfortunately, it is attached to the necklace. So maybe we'll switch to something else. What do we have here? Oh, no, that's kind of cute. It looks like these are earrings. Yeah. Um, so let me see if I can find the other one. Uh, they're wood. It's just a little um, teacup with a sugar and some strawberries. So we will put this aside and see if we can find the other one. Um, let me let me get right back to you. Let me get this untangled. Okay, guys. So next up is just um, a wood bangle. I don't see any markings on it or anything like that. So this will be two dollars. Number two, if anybody wants this. Of course, it's very boho. Just giving you prices as I go. Um, next up, I have this shell necklace. Now this is kind of cool. Let me put that little cup and saucer over there. Um, I don't know much about shells, you guys. But this one is unique. I like these little shells here in between. I have no way of knowing if this is a handmade piece or somebody may have bought it as a tourist piece or whatnot. Whenever I see this, I think of Gina, Tammy, and Linda, all my people in Florida. Um, this one, it looks like... Well, it's not damaged. It's just where it was strung. Um, I will sell this one for $3, number three, if anybody wants this uh, shell necklace. I think it's kind of cool. Talk about boho. And I just measured it. It is about 15 inches. 
Very cool. Three dollars number three. Okay, what else do we have in here that we can read? What is this cool? Ooh, this is nice. This is really nice, guys. Um, so this is gold beads, as you can see. Seeing if there's any marking on it anywhere. This is a three-strand necklace. It's, it looks to be modern. This is really nice. I'm trying to figure out. I guess they're probably acrylic. They might, well, they could they could be glass. I'm having a really hard time telling by feeling them. It's got a really unique um, texture to it. Yeah, I'm not sure that they're glass, but this is really nice. Let me get it together and give you guys a measurement on it. I think this is lovely. Okay, guys, so this is about nine inches long. It's really nice. It's it's really well-made um, costume jewelry, that's for sure. And this one will be $8, number five, if anybody's interested. I kind of have expecting um, a Chico's hallmark on here or stamping on here, but nope. This is actually really lightweight, too. You know, I'm sure it probably looks like it would weigh you down, but it would not. So $8, number five. Okay, guys, so there's another shell necklace in here. This one is about 17 inches long, so it's longer than the other one. Um, this one will be $4, number six. I'm sorry, guys, I accidentally skipped over number four. So it's not you, it's me. <laughs> But this one will be $4, number six. I'm going to show it to you with the other one. It might look kind of cool layered together. Talk about boho. I mean, with summer coming, this would be a really cool set to wear together. Like it. I like it a lot. Okay. On to the next. Okay, guys. So these earrings were close together in the bag. And these are for pierced ears. Um, I did just test them with the magnet. It doesn't They're not sterling. They're pretty cool, though. Um, I don't know if I've ever really seen earrings like this. Let me um, show you in better detail. Okay, I hope you can see it a little bit better. Um, there, you know, there's the one together. But uh, this one, in order to hook it into your ear, you would just put this into this ball end there. Really cool. Um, these are going to be $4, number 7, if anybody's interested. I think they're kind of cool. So far, I'm liking this bag a lot because it, it's kind of boho-ish to me. Okay, $4, number seven. Okay, guys, I wasn't kidding when I said there's a lot of boho here. I think this might be bamboo. Um, this bangle's really cool. I have not measured it. I'm pretty sure it's going to be standard, like about three inches. Let's see here. Yeah, about, whoops. Um, Let's see, it's about two inches, but... It still should fit most people. No, it's three. Okay, I told you I wasn't good at math, y'all. <laughs> and this one, this is really unique. This is cool. This is going to be $5, number eight. I really do think that's bamboo, and I like it. Okay, guys, here's an update. I've got a bit of a tangled mess here, so it's going to be a second. Um, I did find, how cute is this little cup and saucer earring? Um, and I found this single earring. Hopefully the matches are in here. Um, but I'm going to try to untangle. Gosh, so there's a lot of furls in here. Okay, let me show you this one next. This is really nice, too. Um, here is the clasp. It has a little shell here. I need to maybe research this and see if that shell means anything because these, this is really nice. Um, these pearls are stirring really well together. Um, it's a, a nice three layer necklace. I think the clasp is really cool. Of course, I've got it going the wrong way. Um, there we go. But I need to measure this too. I'm not looking forward to untangling that silver necklace. Okay, let's see how long this strand is, or these three strands are. Okay, guys, so this is about eight and a half inches long. It does have an extender um, as well, so you could make it longer if you wanted to. This is really well made, um, just like the Chico's one is. Um, I'll do this one for $8 as well, number nine. This is really cool. This house had some really nice items in it, so I think that's why I'm finding um, some higher end costume jewelry in here. Okay guys, check this out. I'm having a lot of trouble getting that uh, necklace um, 
untied to that pearl necklace there, but this is so cool. Um, gosh, I think this is probably resin. It could be bone. I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to have to, going to have to test it and find out. Um, but this is so cool. So these, um, obviously you got some camels on here. It's about 12 inches long. Can't remember if I said that. Um, but just look at the detail in these. This is so boho. It's kind of boho chic. Super cool. The more I'm feeling it, the more I think it's probably resin. I've never seen anything quite like this, though. It's really nice. These beads may be wood. I, I can't quite tell on the beads either. But how cool is this? Um, this camel necklace is going to be $15, number 10. This is really nice. I hope that my phone is picking up just how cool this necklace is because I love it. Okay, guys, it appears that this pearl neck, these two pearl necklaces, I should say, were never worn. It's actually got like a part of the plastic from a store tag there. Um, so the longest one is about 12 inches, just to give you an idea. They are not um, connected, but I guess they were sold together. Definitely costume, but still pretty. Um, I can do this set for $3, number 11. $3, number 11. Crazy that it was never, never even worn. Um, so I do want to mention, I did pay up a little bit for this bag because... It came from, you know, a really nice house, so I was hoping maybe there would be some sterling or something in here, but I, looking at it, I'm not quite sure there is, but that's okay. We're going to keep going. It's fun anyway. Okay, guys, so I dug in a little bit further, and there's another tangled mess that I'm going to have to work on, um, but I did manage to pull this out. Now, this is really cool. Um, so, obviously, it's a shell necklace. It has kind of these lustery beads there, um, as well as the, as the silver findings there. Um, I don't think it's marked. Don't believe I saw a mark. It's got a little pearl there on the end. Um, this is really nice. Let me just make sure. Yeah. I wanted to make sure it wasn't sterling. I didn't think so, but I'm still learning. So, <laughs> gotta make sure. Um, this one is really cool. This one is gonna be $5, number 12. I like it. It'd be fun to wear all these shell necklaces together. Okay, guys, I meant to say it's about eight and a half inches long. The way it is, it does have that extender there. But how cool is that? And again, it's $5, number 12. Okay, guys, I pulled out this little snowman pin. Um, he's gold toned. I don't think he was marked anywhere. No. Um, he's a dollar if anybody wants this little snowman. I'm just going to sell everything that's in the bag. He's cute. I don't see any wear to him. I know we're months away from Christmas, but... A dollar number 13. Okay, guys, next up I have an American flag pin. Um, it doesn't look vintage to me at all. I have so many of these saved for a 4th of July sale. I might try to do an assemblage, but I'm going to go ahead and sell this one. This will be a dollar as well. It'll be one dollar number 15. Oops, as I drop everything. Next up is another shell necklace. There's another one in the bag still, too. So, um, obviously, somebody really liked their shells. Uh, this is really cool. I like the green contrast with the, the shell there. And looks like this one has never been worn either. It's still got the tag on there. It's a little like mother of pearl or abalone there as well. Um, I'm not sure how long this is. Did not measure it. Let us see. So it is about 10 inches, <clears throat> excuse me. And this one I'll do for $4, number 16. It's really nice, these beads are cool. $4, number 16. Lo and behold, another shell necklace. This one is about 14 inches. Let me kind of give you a close up on it. It's really cool. I like the, um, the yellow contrast, the lines in the shells, it's pretty fun. There's so many things you can do with these if you don't want to wear a shell necklace. Um, you know, I'm glad I'm opening this now. You know, it's 
going to be 85 here today, which is blowing my mind. It's not even April yet. Um, anyway, this necklace is going to be $4, number 17. Okay, guys, this next uh, necklace, I believe these are seeds. It's kind of like a pod necklace. Um, it's multicolored. God, this is so boho. It's about 17 inches long. Um, you could definitely mix this with one of these. You know, it'd be so fun to wear. I like this one a lot. It's really cool. I like the little wood beads in between. Really nice. Um, this one is also good. Oysel? I'm getting an accent all of a sudden. It's also $4, number 18. Pretty cool. Okay, guys, next up I have this beaded necklace. It is about 16 inches long. I think it's seed bead. That's what it feels like. Pretty cool. Jet black. This is going to be $2, number 19. I think this lady was very boho. What do you guys think? $2, number 19. Okay, guys, and this one is a little bit over 16 inches. Um, these are stone. Really pretty blue. I'm going to try to kind of get close up. Each of the beads is different color. It'd be a really nice contrast with the black. Um, this one is going to be $3, number 20. Pretty cool. Okay, guys, these are cool. This is actually two separate necklaces. It's over 36 inches long. Um, these are shell. It's probably hard to tell. There we go. It's really light. This is really nice. Kind of pan over it here. Um, you know, of course, you could double it up. You could wear it as a really... Oh, my gosh. This is the perfect bikini necklace. I don't know if you're watching this, Pamela, but um, yeah, perfect. And this is going to be $4, number 21 for both. Hey guys, literally about an hour later, I finally got this necklace untangled from this six strand pearl necklace. I'm really glad I took the time because it is 925 sterling. It is marked. Um, I'm not quite sure, but I think that's probably glass. Um, this is a really pretty necklace. Let me see if I can get, there it is, 925 sterling there. Um, so yeah, that made this whole bag worthwhile. Um, I, if you're interested in this, reach out to me. Um, not quite sure what I would charge for it, and I need to find out for sure that that's glass. I'm pretty sure it is. Um, but this is just an absolutely beautiful necklace. Again, I'm so glad that I took the time. Um, so yeah, it's about nine inches long. Really pretty. I do like this pendant. I think it's gorgeous. Um, let me see if I can get it a little bit closer here. Yeah, it's got some nice filigree. Excuse my nails. Beautiful. Okay, so moving on from this one, again, if you're interested, you can send me a message. Uh, you can DM me or send me an email. Otherwise, I'm going to do a little bit more research on this one. Then in the bag was another sterling necklace. Uh, this is just a you know, just a plain chain. There's no pendant on it. I like the clasp here. Really, really cool. It is dirty. I do need to um, clean it, but if you're interested in this necklace, I could do it for 12. Let me see how long it is. So it is about 10 and 10 and a half inches, 10 inches. Um, yeah, so there you go. Happy to clean it if anybody's interested. And this one would be uh, $12, number 22, for this little sterling chain necklace. Okay, guys, so this is what the uh, sterling chain was wrapped in. But this is just a really pretty six-strand pearl necklace. Um, I like the clasp here. Very sturdy. Um, I don't see any wear on any of this at all. The pearls could be glass. I don't think so. They're really nice, though. This set looks brand new. I don't see any damage on it at all. I was going to say it's not marked, but is it? It might be. No, I think that, yeah, that's just the reflection right there. Um, but, yeah, so this one, again, it's six strands, about 12 inches. This one would be $14, number 23, if anybody's interested in this. It's really nice costume jewelry. 
Okay guys, so next up, we're kind of at the bottom of the bag, um, but I do believe these two pieces are pewter. Um, I, I'm i assuming um, you wear them together. There's a dragonfly and a bee. Um, I think the bee is really cool. There's a lot of detail there. Um, and they are pierced earrings, as you can see here. If anyone is interested in these, um, I could do these for $4. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, I'm having trouble with my hand here. But yeah, they're just little stud earrings, but they're really cute. Now I'm assuming they're meant to be worn together, like I said. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, guys, so I wanted to just, you know, show you everything. So these are the last things that were in um, the bottom of the bag. And these are, it looks like they're little pierced earrings. They're wood. Um, you've got that cup and saucer and sugar that uh, I showed earlier. Then you've got, I guess the tea, oh, I guess, do those go together? I'm not sure. Then you've got some apples here. Um, there's a little pierced earring that says mocha. I don't think these are marked. Yeah, no marking on that. And then this charm. The charm is kind of cool. So if anybody's interested in these, I could do all of them for $2. Just let me know. I think they'd be good for crafting. Okay, so that is the end of the bag. Now I'm going to move on to some jewelry that I had prepared yesterday that we uh, didn't have time to get to. Okay, guys, so next up I have um, a, a pin or a brooch. It is a brooch. Um, as you can see here, it's about three inches. Um, there is... So the inner part, it looks like it was attached at an angle when it was made. So it's like a manufacturing error. Um, but it's still, you know, it's still really cute. Um, you can just see it when you're looking at it on this side. It just, it's a little off center. Um, but because of that, I'm going to do this one for $6, number 23. Okay, guys. And next up, I have this necklace. Um, it is pure costume. Um, I think it's probably kind of trying to imitate Brighton um, in the design of it, but it's got a bunch of really cool charms on it. Um, I figured people could use for crafting if you don't uh, like the necklace the way it is. It's about 16 inches. It's not marked anywhere. This one is $3, number 24. Okay, guys, next up I have this hematite and beaded um, necklace. Um, the hematite is in the pendant. And you've got some black faceted beads there, and then you've got some seed beads. And I just measured it, and of course now I forgot. Yeah, it's about 10 inches long. Well, let's get that a little more even. Yeah, it's about 10 inches long. And this is going to be $3, number 25. This is really pretty. Okay, guys, the next necklace um, is a, a glass pendant necklace. Um, it's about 10 inches long. It's got some really pretty um, mica in here, kind of giving it um, a goldish look. And the necklace itself is actually really cute with the seed beads. I kind of like this effect. And this one is going to be $3, number 26. Okay, guys, the next necklace um, is a faux pearl and faux sapphire necklace. Um, this is vintage. It does say Hong Kong. I'm not sure if it's going to come through. But it does say Hong Kong right there. Or Korea, I'm sorry. I got confused there. Um, it's about 12 inches long. I think it's pretty. You know, it's a, a classic looking, um, very, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Sophisticated necklace. And this is going to be $3, number 27. Okay, guys, I think this necklace is really pretty. Um, it has this amazing... Um, set of four five flowers right there with really pretty rhinestones um kind of got like an opalescent petal effect there um surprisingly this one is not marked anywhere um, obviously it's gold tone and uh, i did measure it but now i've forgotten i think it's about eight inches if i remember correctly gosh i'm having a hard time today i hope everybody's having an easier saturday than me yeah, it's about eight inches. Really, really pretty. There's a lot of shine to this. And this is going to be $6, number 28. Okay, guys, next up I have um, this silver chain with a cross. This is stone. It's pretty cool. 
Um, I, I do believe this is vintage. And the next item, I'm going to do several $2 necklaces. So this is going to be $2 number 30. Okay, guys, next up I have this um, faux um, Chanel necklace. Um, it is like a choker. Here is the pendant. It could be fun for crafting, I think, for sure. Um, and this is also $2, and it's number 31. By the way, I'm not measuring all of these necklaces, um, but I'll let you know if they're, you know, long. I'm, this is probably about 9 or 10 inches, I would guess. Okay, guys, next up is another um, glass necklace. It's got this pretty, like, fluorescent orangey look to it, um, and it's on a ribbon. It is adjustable. There's some beads there that you can adjust it. And this is going to be $2, number 32. Okay, guys, this one is really pretty. It's probably about 16 inches long, just to give you an idea. But it has, um, they're all acrylic, but it has these little faceted beads. It has some clear ones mixed in. I think it's really pretty. And this one is going to be $2 as well, number 33. Okay, guys, this one is super boho. Um, this has this stone here. It's kind of cool, and it's got a leather, um, or it could be a, a faux leather, um, tan-colored um, chain. Very unique. Again, a lot of these that I'm showing, I figured, you know, if you don't like it, there's plenty of things to craft with um, with these $2 necklaces, and that's why I'm showing them. So this is $2, number 24. $2, number 34. I think I said 24. Next up, we have this stone necklace. Um, it is on a leather cord. This one is really pretty. It's kind of like a deep orange color. And this one is also $2, and it's number 35. Okay, guys, this one is really cute. So it has um, a palm tree charm here as the pendant, and then it's got seed beads. This is pretty cute. This is just perfect for summer if you're going to the beach. And this is $2, number 36. Okay, guys, next up I have this really pretty um, brooch. So this is some sort of tropical bird. Um, he's really pretty. Maybe it's a bird of paradise. I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, he is a jelly belly. And as you saw, um, he's about three inches, a little less. He is not marked anywhere. And he's going to be $15, number 37. I think he's really pretty. Let's try to sit down for a second. And I don't think that was a good view. So here you go. $15, number 37. This little brooch is also perfect for summer. He's about an inch. And he is like a lustery toucan. It's really cute. He's not marked anywhere. Is he? No. My eye's playing tricks on me. He's in excellent shape. The enameling on him is perfect. And he is $6, number 38. Okay, guys, this one is so pretty. Um, this is a brooch, and it has a phobie, or faux ruby, phoby, um, here in the center. And it also has some pearls and some rhinestones um, you could wear. I guess maybe it should go this way. I'm not quite sure. The bow at the bottom is really cute, though. I think you could wear it whatever way you want. This has a lot of bling. It's really pretty. And this one is $15, number 39. It's about an inch. I know it's hard to tell. Okay, guys, next up I have this ring. It is adjustable. I do believe it is vintage. Um, it's cute though, and it's in very good shape, gold tone, and this one is going to be $3, number 40, there's the adjuster right there, $3, number 40, I think it's cute. It kind of changes color in the light, oh, I think you're seeing that now, really cute. Okay, next up I have this faux diamond ring, now this is big, this is like a size 11, oh my goodness. Okay, there we go. That 
it's the story of my life or the story of my day to day. Everything that could go wrong is going wrong, but um, no damage to the ring. Again, it's a size 11. I think it's really pretty. I'm trying to give you a better angle. Of course, it's costume. It's not marked anywhere. And this is going to be $3, number 41. I just think it's still pretty. There we go. $3, number 41. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little adventure. Um, I had fun opening that bag. I wish I could have done it a little bit. Like, I wish I could have done it live, but my schedule today would not permit it. Um, but I thought it was fun. I had a great time, even when I was spending 10, 30 minutes. Um, it really did take me over 30 minutes to get that sterling chain unwrapped from that other necklace, but I am so glad that uh, I took the time. It was obviously worth it. And again, if you have any questions, you can always reach out to me. All that information is at the end of the video. Um, if you're new to my channel, thank you for subscribing. Um, I do have jewelry sales every Friday afternoon with my gal, Gina, who is Vintage Digs. Those start at 5 Eastern, 4 Central, and 2 p.m. Pacific. Um, our next sale is coming up on Sunday, uh, tomorrow, and it is our Shopaholic sale, where we show items that have not been shown before. Um, everything is like in its bags, and uh, you're going to get to see things for the first time, items that we've picked up over the past few days, so I'm, we're always excited about that sale. It's always fun, and it's fast-paced, so make sure you, you're ready. It's at 12 Eastern, 11 Central, and 9 a.m. Pacific. Hey guys, I hope everyone has a wonderful weekend. Um, continued prayers for everyone in Ukraine. Um, today has been a historic day. Um, I have to admit, I you know listened to our president's speech and I was deeply moved. And I just, uh, well, that's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to cry on camera. Okay, guys, love you so much. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and comment. See you guys soon. Bye-bye.